Hello everyone, Carmine from New York here with yet another camera that we're videotaping on. This time we're taping on the Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II. Let's see how this works out. We're using the built-in microphone. Uh, let's see what happens. <laughs> All right. What do we have today, folks? We must talk about cameras and lenses that came from the Ukraine back in the 90s. Today, I am happy to show you guys the Kiev 60. This is a medium format film camera that uses 120 film, built like a tank. <laughs> All right, everybody, let's get into it. This is Carmine from New York. It's September. For some reason, it's going up to 85 degrees today here in Manhattan. I don't know why. All right, first thing, hit the subscribe button. It's mandatory. All right, let's go. This particular Kiev 60, made in Kiev at the Arsenal factory, was made in 1991. Now, how do we know? Because on the back, the serial number starts with the year it was made. Now, these were made, uh, I think, as far back as 19... Let's see, 1984 to 1999. All right, that's a very long run. That's a 15-year run for a camera model production. There were some changes over those 15 years, but the bottom line is it was still a medium format film camera. The lenses are incredible. Uh, let's just go down the list of my notes so I don't miss anything. Okay, so the lens is an 80 millimeter f2.8. It looks like it would be pronounced Bova 3, but it's uh, Russian or Ukrainian for Volna. Okay, excellent lens, excellent sharpness. It's multi coated. Uh, <clears throat> this camera has a cloth shutter from B to 1 1,000th of a second. It does have a meter on top of the interchangeable focusing, right? The, this prism can be exchanged with a waist level finder. But this meter, I don't trust them. Once a camera body is, you know, over 15 years old and it has a built-in battery powered meter, I don't use it. I use my handheld Siconic light meters. Um, other than the meter, that's the only thing that needs a battery. This is a fully mechanical camera. Uh, the film is loaded. Now this, I actually, when I got this camera years ago, I had to research on how to open the back. There's a little button on the back, right? Now if you press it in to release it, you could be there all day. Here's how you have to do it. If you ever get this camera, you have to push it in and then down and then in again to open the back. Once you get to the back, you can see the cloth shutter. This is the take up spool. Okay, now the swing for the film advance is very important to know these little secrets. You must awkwardly, one stroke, without stopping, cock the shutter and advance the film all the way to the front. The lever will face forward and then you slowly let it go back. Okay? If you try and do it in two stro strokes, many problems. The film frames will overlap. The shutter, the, the film exposure dial won't know where the hell it is if it's on frame four or frame five. Okay, so remember, take your picture, advance the film, it also cocks the shutter and lowers the mirror in one swoop. It goes all the way forward and then release it. I don't like to just flip my hand out of the way and let the film 
advanced lever slap back. These cameras are old, and I don't think you can send them back to the Arsenal factory where they were made anymore. Okay, let's keep rolling. Uh, let's see. The weight of this camera with the lens is 1,914 grams. In other words, it's four and a quarter pounds of steel and glass. Uh, <clears throat> the depth of field preview button, they give you two of them, okay? So, advance the camera, advance the film. Right now it's on F22. There's a lever here on the side, right? You can get your depth of field preview, right? on the side. Also, the lens has one. There's a little button on the actual lens itself. Does it work? Yes, it's working. I just don't know if you can see it. That's the one on the camera lens, and this is the one on the side of the body. Okay. Now, the lens itself. Gorgeous lenses super sharp you're going to see photos taken with this very camera and lens setup has a konica six breach right am i saying that right no a pentacon six bayonet slash breach lock system you turn the ring on the base of the lens you do not turn the lens it just lifts straight up it goes straight back in. You turn the breech lock and you're good to go. All right, let's keep rolling guys. Uh, oh, very important, inside the mirror box, it's just black metal. You do get a little flaring. Most cameras, most film cameras have what they call flock. It's like a felt, a black felt to reduce any flares. But in here, in this camera, made in Kiev, uh, they did away with putting flock. It's a fabric. It's just spray painted flat black. It does generate a little bit of flare, but you take the good with the bad. All right, we're rolling. Let's keep going. Uh, I own the Pentax 67, well, past tense, I owned the Pentax 67, right? That shot a six by seven negative. Kind of reminds me, right, the same weight and bulk, right, as the this camera and the Pentax 67. This camera shoots a six six, a square negative, six centimeters by six centimeters. But there are some similarities. It's a single lens reflex medium format film camera, just like the Pentax 67. Okay, these sell for about three hundred bucks. The Pentex 67 is about double that. Okay. Uh, the shutter button on these cameras is here. It's on the front in a in and downward. This way I think is better. It's an in and downward uh, shooting. Okay. It's not on top of the camera. This is actually much better. Because if you look at the way you would hold the camera, right? This camera is so big that if if you had to keep your hand up here, there's, there's not enough support on the bottom. This way, you can actually put the camera in the palm of your hand, grip it, you hold the camera underneath the lens, and you fire. Nice and steady. This was well designed. Some people poo-poo it that it's done on the top. They don't know what they're talking about. This is the better placement. Because the distance from here, from the shutter button, to the bottom of the camera is a lot more comfortable than if it was from the bottom of the camera to the top of the camera, okay? Some people's hands wouldn't even reach it if they kept the bottom in the palm of their hand. Okay, let's keep rolling. The front lens on this, the 80mm uh, 2.8 Volna, uh, takes a 62 millimeter filter, which I have on it. I have the Hoya. There you go. The Hoya UV filter. Uh, the film counter window, right? Right here. When you're, you load the film, 
you have to give full three cranks. You turn, you fire, right? You're loading the film. One, two, three, right? Now it'll go to one. If you're used to seeing an S in the window for start, it's there, but it's H because it's Cyrillic. Okay, now if you notice on top of the camera, there's no hot shoe or cold shoe. It was an accessory that screws into this hole right here. It's a threaded hole. It's a simple little piece of metal that screws in here and it's a cold shoe and you can mount your flash over here. I never bothered because I have so many uh, camera brackets that I could just screw on the bottom and it has a, a cold shoe on it. And then you, because it's a cold shoe, you must use the PC sync port right here. Oh, speaking of flash, the flash sync speed is a little disappointing. It's 1 30th of a second, but you got to live with it. All right, keep rolling, guys. Uh, so right now I saw this set up on eBay today, uh, $300, right? But the seller, while he had 99.7% feedback, he did not say it was working and tested something I make you guys look for all the time. Uh, there are several, you mean more than 10 of these for sale, coming from ships from, it said, the Ukraine. You do what you want, but all their feedback, there was like five sellers for some reason. I don't want to get into it. This feedback is down to 97.7%. I warn you, do not purchase anything from a seller that has less than 99.2% feedback with at least 100, other, with 100 feedbacks. 97.7%, you're asking for trouble. You're asking for tears, okay? Because somewhere along the line, there's going to be a problem and you're going to be in about hundreds of dollars. Stay with a seller. 99.2 or higher and has hundreds of feedback scores all right um do i have everything covered on this camera i think so i'd like to thank uh camerapedia.fandom.com for helping me uh get some uh, specifications on this okay and just remember we're going to look at photographs right now taken with the Kiev 60 medium format film camera takes 120 film, 6x6 six six square negatives. Let's look at those photographs right now, but you must subscribe. Mandatory. Give me a thumbs up and email me, blackandwhitephoto at AOL.com. I'll answer all your photo questions. All right, we turn off the camera. Let's go to the photos right now.